My name is Tammy, and this is my best friend, Allie. We decided to follow our dreams and open our own world-class stallion stable. Our roles at the barn are simple. Allie handles all the horses, and she is the professional rider and trainer. Stretch up with your back. I handle the money and make sure we don't go broke. Why are we ordering hand shavings here? This is Megan, our barn manager. She's worked for world-class champions. She's a little weird, but she's great at what she does. She literally has teeth like a horse. So it's like, <laughs> And this is my wonderful daughter, Alex, the only sane one among us. We'll stick together to fight my lander. And then there's Jamie, our close friend and handyman. We can replace a couple boards, that's fine. Today we're moving the last of our horses from his barn to ours. We have a lot of extremely talented horses. My favorite is the mare Ellie. She's expecting her very first bull any day now. This is our chance to make it happen in a business that's not known for second chances. Oh my God, there's like jumps here. What the hell? I she even got my other trailer here. Today, Ali and I showed up at the barn and I got a wonderful surprise. When did you get all the horses here? This afternoon. Wow. Horses are here, straws here for the mare. She even went to the lengths of getting the jumps here and organizing everything. I was really impressed. Jamie, give you a hand. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it all. Can't do it all. If you like the look of this, out here, wait till you see the inside. Seriously? Uh, I think it's really important that if you're gonna do a job, you're gonna do it right and do it the best you can do. So I really like this surprise. Um, close your eyes. It's a big surprise. Well, if I close my eyes, I might walk into the door. No, you won't. Listen to my footsteps. Keep your eyes shut. Okay, oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, careful. Don't careful. And open. Yay. Wow. Holy crap. Look at all the stall guards and everything. Pictures. Yeah. Stall yeah. mats. Yep. Is that the straw for the mare? Straw for the mare. Oh, this is awesome. This is great. Good work. How's the pregnant mare doing today? She's good. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. You've got a barn. I know. Yeah. That's crazy. So what's um, left? Uh, there is a filly, Layla, needs to get picked up from... And you guys oh, should get Jamie's on place that still? too. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll go get her and then you can finish doing what you gotta do. Maybe I'll ride you later. There's black skies rolling in, eh? Yeah, we better get going. So you still have stuff to finish up then? Yeah. Yeah? All right, cool. Al, why don't you uh, help Megan? We'll half an hour, 40 minutes at the I'll most. keep her busy. <laughs> <laughs> or dead. Okay, can she at least I wear her shoes for safety? I need my shoe bag. All right, we gotta go. It's gonna rain. I dropped later, my guys. Bag. Yeah. Be good, Alex. Told me what you put in the life you take away. So I won't stand around, cause life moves fast and it won't wait. And there's no room in this whole world for giving up on crazy dreaming. I'm gonna hold on tight and take the chances I've been given. Cause this is my time for a ride. Come on back, come on. So we arrived at the old farm uh, to pick up my baby and uh, brought back a lot of memories. I was there for a long time. Well, you only did up one of the latches, you know. I know, there's no horse in there. How's it going? Oh yeah, another rainy day in paradise. Jamie is one of Allie's longtime friends. He's, he's fabulous with the horses, but he's weird. Great heart, but just weird. It'll be fun trying to get this girl on the trailer. Oh, well, she'll be fine. Yeah. She's never been on one. She won't know any different. Hence why we left her till last. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, let's get out of the rain. Soaked already twice today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Took me a while to catch her, you know. Oh, yeah? She's a hard catch. Oh, is she a brat? Not really. She just likes her buddy. Oh, you're going to be lonely? You guys already signed up? all the papers on this new place or what? 
Yeah, pretty much, eh? It's yeah. crazy. It's a done deal? Done deal. You're nuts. You not see what I go through around here? Yes, and we totally appreciated being here and loved yeah. being here, but... You're you not know. going far either. We're just up the road. I mean, it's not like we'll we're leaving We'll be like neighbors. Terms. Hey, what are you going to call it? Your new place. Uh, Wendigo. Wendigo Farms. Wendigo? Yeah. What's that? Huh? Unfortunately, Wendigo, we found out after we named the farm, is an Algonquin myth about cannibals. Like the Algonquin people, it's like their myth, their story, or... Like they're Bigfoot? No, Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> like... No, it's like an evil spirit that causes people to eat people, I guess. Cannibalism. <laughs> and you're naming the barn after this? Well, no, it wasn't supposed to be. So it's the lake at the cottage. That's what we call our cottage is Wendigo. Well, it's sort of catchy. <laughs> you know what? It's hard to come up with names. It is. We yeah. Like because you can't choose somebody else's name. No. Like when we chose the name for the barn here, it was uh, named after the dog. Oh, really? Yeah, Shadow was the dog. Oh. And then the gate, you know, every farm has a gate. And, and, and that's like, where the name like showed up. Every farm has like creek, gate, hill, something at the end yeah, of it. Yeah. So at least we're different. Yeah. Yeah. We, we like people. eating people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm gonna have you do, but see that one way up there? You're gonna climb all the way up there, grab that one, put it in the stall, and we're gonna open it up. I really like Megan, she's really fun to hang out with. She teaches me things about the barn, she shows me how to do certain things. Can you make it? Yes. Careful, don't hurt yourself. I am being careful. Me and uh, Alex got to bond a little when uh, they went to go pick up the horse. Come on, you gotta do it in a timely fashion. No dilly-daddling. Working in the barn is a lot of hard work. I know your mom owns this barn, but it doesn't mean you get away. Why don't you just like cut it? Because I want to do it this way. But it's the long way. She's basically a kid herself, and we just talk and do stupid things, fun things. So you seeing anybody? No. Mom says you are. Is mom lying to me? Yeah. She's dishonest. She's dishonest? I think you have a crush on a boy. Who are you seeing? Lovely man. Fatty man? Fatty man. That's how I like mine. Roly poly. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. Wait. Let's go look at this mare. Wait, there's still more squares in here. No, it doesn't matter. There's one right there. Gotta do, no, you gotta do it or I'm no. not coming with you. Whew. Well, it's a good thing you're paying attention to details. Ah. All right, let's go. I'm a detailed person. We're losing steam. Riding rails, gypsy apartment. Lot of five, love don't fight. Little girl. Okay. okay. She's got on. her daddy's eyes. Yeah. Come on. The biggest nice So run around to the other side, Tam, and maybe uh She'll be fine. Come on. Come on, girl. I wasn't too pleased with the condition of my fold, but I mean, in his defense, I think he's just got so much on the go that he probably just overlooked how poor in condition she was. Okay, close that door. And make sure you close that one. Yeah, I know. Flipping trying to jump out at Yeah, me. I know. I think everything's all closed up in there. See, I told you she'd be good. Yeah. The first time's always easy. It's the second one that oh, gets I know. tough. Alrighty. Well, God, thanks I'm gonna for... miss you guys. I know. Jeez. We're going Dad. down the road. I, you guys I'm are still so... gonna miss you. <laughs> you know, I do feel kind of bad because in a in a way, it feels like I'm taking away some of his business, uh, taking some money direct, indirectly out of his pocket. Hey! <laughs> I know, we're gonna come visit, come have some beer. I already got work for you, so oh, I, know. I know. I got fences falling down and stuff. I could see myself being there more often than being here. Thank you. Hey, you gotta remember, eh? There's a lot of stuff that goes on that you guys didn't see, you know? Yeah, we gotta get going. 
Hey, yeah, she's getting a little riled up. Yeah, but yeah I don't want to get her hurt. Thanks, Thanks for your Jane, help. for helping us load her. No problem, guys. See you later. Cheers. God have mercy on the underdog. Wounds are swimming, thunderstorms and rain and fog. God takes some pity on the every man. Me and Alex went to go look at the pregnant mare. She's looking pretty good. How far along is she? She's due soon, in like in the next couple of weeks. I was really excited about coming to work for this farm. Uh, it's a good opportunity to be a barn manager. It's uh, something I've never done before, never had that type of responsibility. We're gonna bring her in soon so she can have her foal have to spend the, every night here making sure that it's gonna be okay and if anything goes wrong, I have to know when exactly I need to call the vet and everything, it's just, it's a little, it's a little much. It makes me a little nervous. Have you ever seen a baby be born before? No. No, Are you excited to have a foal? Yeah. Yeah? You won't be going back to school. Be going back to school. This is the end of the summer of love. Like the end of a tree, and you're just waking up. Like is she facing us? Yeah, kind of. Tea? You burn. Come on, babe. Careful she doesn't come down on you slipping on that mat. I oh, know. Getting her in the stall and actually being able to have a good look at her, I realized that she was in a lot worse condition than what I thought. Doesn't she look terrible? She needs to be on like a, a full grain. I don't know what. Allie's always bragged about how careful and how attentive Jamie is with all the horses that he has on his facility. But this horse was extremely thin. Mm, she's eating, she's pretty chilled. I can't believe it. I don't really agree with how Tammy and Allie were kind of ragging on James. He's supposed to be Allie's really good friend. She's long in the pasture, though, eh? Oh, yeah. She can't go right outside. Just stay inside and get some weight. I can't really blame him and, you know, accuse him of doing it on purpose, but I really wish that, you know, something was done earlier. All right, I'm going to go check on Alex. OK. Stood inside this empty room Took a pick out the window But it was too soon And I don't know why <sighs> The stress of having a new barn Running everything How long have you guys had horses? Well, my mom got her horse when she was like Yep, 23, she had a horse before Hey, sweetie what are you guys up to? That thing just cleaning out. This is Megan. Hey, Megan, Megan how you doing? my mom's boyfriend. Nice to meet you. Night, Mike, nice to meet you. He's not really exactly what I thought he'd be. I mean, he reminds me more of a cowboy, you know, all silent and... Tammy's got such a big personality. She's really out there. I thought she'd be with somebody who is a little bit more exuberant. So where's your mom? She's inside just getting back from buying this horse, this new fool. She's buying a horse? Well, she bought it with. She's inside. Okay, well, I'm taking her out to dinner. <laughs> okay. This foal is gonna be like over 100 grand. She's like six bills, at least. She's gonna be worth something. Well, then something. sell something so that well, we can help pay for the bills. We just opened, I will. I can't afford to keep paying every time. A skinny, hi. Hi. So what's this about paying? Uh, well, we were supposed to talk about it tonight at dinner. Talk about what? I didn't know that he didn't know anything about Tammy's involvement in the business. He didn't really understand at to what point or how much I was invested in this place and that I actually owned half of it. We bought the barn together. 
I, I thought you were here at the barn to, to help out Allie, and that was the extent of it. Mike and I have been dating for two and a half years. I should have been honest with him. I should have spoke to him. I was just afraid he was gonna say no and I just didn't want to hear those words. Isn't this something that you discuss with your partner? You would have said no, right you away. You didn't give me an opportunity to you say yes or no. You would have said no. no. Would you have said yes? I would have considered it. We can't afford this. How much is this barn gonna take to run? But there's gonna be boarders and people spending money here paying for this, helping. Where are the boarders? Well, we just opened three days ago, Michael. Again, I don't know this. What was, like, the icing on the cake is that we had to do this in front of Ali when, you know, I'm not, I'm not one to totally air my dirty laundry, especially when it's bad laundry. <laughs> so you're not going to support me in this? Listen, I'm at the point where I'm ready to walk out the door. If you're going to rethink our relationship, that's, you can't I can, do I can't that. be with someone who doesn't discuss things so with me. now you don't want to be with me. We discuss money, and even when we discuss it, you don't even it's listen to me. You don't even it's listen to me. It's my money. This is a partnership. What you do affects ultimately myself and also affects Alex. You're gonna walk away from me and Alex. You've got a new partner. Are you gonna walk away from me and Alex right now? I'm absolutely gonna do that. So then do it. Show All me right. your back. He's just mad. He's just mad. Sorry. I didn't think he'd leave over it. Now, if he can't be supportive of her, you know, good riddance. I can't tell you how many guys that I've kicked out of my life that haven't been supportive of my riding. And if they can't stand by me and understand my passion, see ya. Alex loves him. What if he doesn't come back? Oh. I'm such an idiot. You're not an idiot. He wasn't like supporting anything that you said. He wasn't even listening to you. You've been talking about this for the last five years since I've met you. I know, Allie, but I should have at least talked to him about yeah, it. Yeah, I know you should have. I know. But, I mean, in a way, it doesn't affect him. It doesn't concern him. I mean, this business is going to make money. We're going to be fine. He'll calm down. I went ahead and did what I normally do. Don't listen to anybody else and do what I want. This time I'm paying the ultimate price and so is my daughter Alex. I could never be the one for you. Mommy? Hey. What are you doing? Ooh. Tripping? My mom was in the back field just walking around and looking down, and I knew something was wrong. I knew that it was her and Mike. Mike and I had a bit of a scrap. About what? It doesn't really matter about what. It's just that um, I think he's going to probably move out. And uh, we'll just be on our own for a bit. Well, I'm definitely going to miss him. It doesn't feel real yet. No, it doesn't. I'm hoping maybe he'll come back. I don't know. I don't know. He was pretty mad. And I said stupid stuff and... I like it, you and me. You do? Yeah. So you didn't like it, me, you and Mikey? No, I did. But I like it, you and me sometimes. Hmm. Alright. You and me? Yeah. You and me. We'll stick together, just like my leather. I don't know what I did, but I have the best kid ever. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Mm. Just taking a moment. <laughs> oh, oh the mm. boob squish. We <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good news? Signs in. Guys just oh, left. Yeah. yeah. How's it look? Looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really, really good. We just need cool. to chop a couple trees and stuff by the road just for visibility, but looks really good. Sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How you doing, kiddo? Good. Yeah. Don't worry, he'll be back. He's just a guy. No one leaves my heart to mommy. That's right. What? Whatever, he'll just realize your awesomeness and come crawling back. Don't you worry. Before all this stuff, when Mike walked in and everything, I was, uh, I was really thinking we should have a, a vet come out and look at that foal right away. No, I agree. I already talked to Meg and she's called the vet already. Oh, so really? yeah, oh, Maggie's okay. on her way. Yeah. Meg and I were talking and uh, I think we should take you out. 
Out? Out. Mm. We'll take you out. Go get some martinis, something to eat. Whoa. Come on, guys. Come on. Porsche, come. No come on, Porsche. Won't call a truce. Oh, okay. Don't bother now. There ain't no use. We gave it all, but now we're through. I'm so sure. Told him for sure. Hi. How are ya? In Canada, how are you guys? Oh, I don't know. Just filling Megan in on the afternoon. Kinda. You need to fill us in on the rest. Nothing really to fill you in on, just except that I'm single now and... What? Oh, come on. <clears throat> I guess I held back a little bit on how much I was giving towards the barn and... Interesting. You knew you were involved in the barn. I just didn't know how financially tied I was to the barn. Yeah, I think he could have been a little more understanding, like that's... But I spent his money. I spent his money. That's the... That's the burner, right? He's just having a hairy canary, like, there's no way. I know, he was really good with Alex and stuff, but he just doesn't seem committed to me and what I want. Wouldn't he want you to succeed in something that you were passionate about, though? That's what I thought. You guys could, like, eventually have this great barn and not have to do anything else? Yeah, I thought but that he was on board People don't think that. that way, that don't love the sport like we do. They all think about, like, the dollar signs that are going out, right? He's going to come back. He's just mad. He'll okay, say whatever. He's gone, he's gone. So, celebrate the barn tonight. That's what this is about. Well, cheers, cheers. to our new adventure, the new when barn. Farms. Megan We're doing an awesome job. Yes, yes, thanks, Megan. The best part about the night was talking about, you know, if we are actually successful and make a lot of money and how everyone's gonna get boob jobs. That'd be sweet. <laughs>